Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel where we cover all things crypto from the perspective of a miner. So today's video, we're going to be talking about that Bitmain ant miner, the KA3, that Kadena miner, if you're unfamiliar with it. We're going to be talking about realistic profitability numbers. Okay, we're going to go over why all these numbers you've been seeing on like ASIC miner value or all these videos with these crazy thumbnails of making, you know, thousand bucks a day or whatever aren't going to be very realistic. Okay. So we're going to go over some scenarios, some possibilities, and we'll go through that. All right, guys. So if it sounds interesting, stay tuned, guys. So let's get right to it. So again, if you're unfamiliar with uh, Kadena or this KA3 miner, we'll go over the stats real quick. It's going to be from Bitmain, and it comes in at 166 terahash, 3,154 watts, and the MSRP was $5,300. Street price currently is about double, right? This thing sold out in a minute and it's been very, very hyped up because of the high potential profitability, okay? Um, this is the main one we're gonna go over right now because again, this one is the most hyped. So I think this is the most important one. Um, as we can see, this is the current street price, right? So again, it's nearly double. Okay, this thing is supposed to start shipping pretty soon here, and we will see, but um, but yeah, and this actually has gone down, right? In the past, like, month or so, it was high as, like, the norm was closer to, like, 11, 12,000, but it seems like they released a second batch, and after that second batch, the prices did go down a little bit, so this is currently what it's, where it's at. So we're going to go over realistic profitability numbers. And one of the main reasons, guys, I do want to make this video, do want to go over it, is to learn from a mistake I made, right? I bought a Kadena miner back in June, pre-ordered it earlier than that, pre-ordered it like April or something, and I kind of fell for the hype, right? Fell into the hype of the mindset that, oh, that we're not going to have another bear market as bad, and look where we're at, Right? So you have to look at worst case scenarios, okay? Had it in my mind, I'm very good at projecting numbers, I'm very good at breaking down numbers, but I was in the mindset that, uh, oh, we're probably gonna go down more, but it's not gonna be as bad as it was in the past. Well, we've seen that, no, this time it's not different, it's the same. We're going through the same cycle. We've gone down like crazy, right? So I want you guys to learn from my mistake, right? Take this into consideration. Also, just take into the simple fact that we may go down even further. This may not be the worst of it. It could be, right? This could We could have hit the bottom, and we may just have sideways action for the next year, right? But, I mean, it's gone down drastically just from that time, from the time I bought it to what it is now. It's crazy. It's crazy how much lower it's gone, how much the profitability has lowered, and that's I want you guys to learn from that, okay? That's a big part of this channel. I want you guys to not make the same mistakes I did, the same mistakes many of us did, okay? Any of us. It wasn't just me. It was anybody who essentially bought a gold shell miner during that time frame. Especially, mine wasn't even that bad. I'm here bitching about it. But, like, you guys who bought freaking KD6s when it was, like, 50, 60K, my heart goes out to you. That's, that's rough, okay? So, you guys got to learn from our mistakes, make better choices, and we move on. Okay. All right. So let's get to it. Let's get into numbers here. Right. So we went over the price. So this was a tricky thing to really find, get like an accurate number was the whole network hash rate. I've seen anywhere from like 200 to 240. So like going on DX pool, they have it listed as 201 on Kadena's block explorer on chain web. Let's see if it refreshes. It's anywhere from like 180 to like 230. Right, this is real time, so it fluctuates big time. But I've been seeing it as high as like 220, 230, and kind of staying there for a moment. So that's why I'm gonna put it a little bit higher than what it actually is. Going on minor stat, they have it the highest out of all of them. This is the one I'd probably give the least credence to, but they have it at 300 petahash. Um, we'll go to Pool Bay, they have it at about 200. And going on What to Mine, they also have it about 200. And mining post has to stream, have it at 198, but they don't know a portion of it. So that's why I'm going to go with 240, right? It's not exact. All these estimates are not going to be exact. They're going to be exactly what I just said, estimates, 
Okay, this is just to make a prediction based off of what it could be. None of this is going to be exact. All of this is hypotheticals. Okay, the biggest factor in all of this that nobody knows is how many units are going to ship. That is the number one thing that is going to determine profitability because it's going to affect the network hash rate, which is going to affect your yield. Okay. So I'm going to do two examples, one with the best case scenario and that only 1,500 units get shipped. Another one that's more realistic. It's, it's on the high side, but I think it's, it's an, the reason I say it's realistic is because that's chances are that's how many units are going to get pushed out overall throughout the year, right? But again, nobody really knows. This is purely hypothetical, but it's something to take into account. The one thing that is almost certainly guaranteed is that these profitability numbers on like what to mine and such are not going to be correct. Okay, so like this $37 that everybody's basing their calculations on, it is not going to be correct. If only one person gets one of these and they throw it on the network right now, yes, that is how much they are going to make. We all know that's not the case. Okay, there's going to be so much more hash rate on there, meaning you're going to have to split your yield. Okay. So this is the purpose of this video is to give you a more realistic number so you can make calculations to see if this thing is worth it. Okay, um, so let's get to it. So we're basing it off of, again, that 240 petahash being the overall current network hash rate. Um, so let's go into here, right? This is a calculator from coinguides.org. This is just uh, a calculator to convert hash, right? So we're going to go from terahash to petahash exahash. Okay, because the one variable we do know, right, is the total capacity of this unit, right, which is 166 terahash. So the easiest ways to kind of like give us these estimates is just to multiply it manually, right? If 1500 units ship, right, let's put in 1500, we're going to multiply it by that 166, right? 1500 units, each unit is going to contribute 166 terahash to the network, and it's going to give us a total of 249,000 terahash, okay? So we can punch that number in, and we can see that it gives us approximately 249 petahash, which is, if we're basing it off of that 240, per, 240 petahash number, it's gonna double the hash rate. So again, at 1,500 units, it's going to double the hash rate. So if we double the hash rate, our yield is gonna get cut in half. Okay, so not that profitability number, but the amount of KDA you will receive will be cut in half. So that's how you have to base your projections. To me, this is a best case scenario. Realistically, um, my personal guess is anywhere in the 2,000, 2,500 range, but we're doing this just because of, of the number, the way it works. One of the big reasons, I think, is just because alone from the people who were able to go to that mining summit in Cancun, they allotted, I believe, like 600 for them alone. Right? I think they limited it to 200 people. Each were able to order a max of three. And I can almost guarantee all of them ordered the max because it makes sense to. Right? So just there alone was 600. Right? Um, so now let's go and calculate some numbers. So the current price right now for Kadena is $0.92. Cents. It was just recently <laughs> a little bit higher. But um, again, this, these are ballpark numbers, so we're gonna make, we're gonna do easy math. We're gonna put it as it's a dollar a KDA, okay? Again, not exact, rough estimates. Okay, so now we know the, our specs here, we're gonna plug it into CryptoCalc. So again, 166 terahash, 3,154 watts, and this is for a 10 cent kilowatt hour, okay? Profit is 37. Right again, what we're worried about though is the yield. This is what's going to change. Our electricity is going to be the same, right? No matter what, the yield is what's going to change. So at 1500 units, your yield will go from 48 KDA down to half. Okay, so now it goes down to 24 KDA a day, meaning we're going to rough estimate it at a dollar KDA, so about $24 a day. Okay. That's your yield. Now we're going to subtract your electricity, about eight bucks, brings it to about $16 a day profit. Okay. So again, 1500 units. If it, the hash rate doubles, our yield gets cut in half, $16 a day profit. Okay. To me, that is your best case scenario, which is not a bad number, right? 
still pretty good. Would it be worth it at these current resale prices though, right? At 10,000 plus? Not really, considering that this is our best case scenario. Again, this is only if 1,500 units get shipped, which I'm pretty sure is going to be higher. So now let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next most powerful line, which is this Ivy Link, the BMK3, 70 terahash, 3,300 watts. So we input that there. Again, the yield is what we want to pay attention to. Let's cut that in half. So instead of it being 20 bucks, let's go down to 10, 25, let's say $10 to make it easy. $8 electrical, so it'd be $2 a day profit, okay? Not looking too great, right? But again, if you're able to get a good deal on this or you have super cheap electric, maybe it'll make sense. But that to me is a more realistic number for what, what will be coming, okay? Let's go to number three, which is the KD Max, okay? 40 terahash, 3350. Again, 40.2, 3350. Let's round this up to 12 bucks. It's gonna go down to six. Okay, so you're already going to be at a loss if the hash rate doubles. You'll be at negative $2 a day to run this thing. Okay, not looking too great, especially for anything aside from this BMK3 and the KA3. So essentially, we know these things are going to dominate the market as far as mining goes, if the price action stays the same. Okay, and that's the other big thing to keep in mind is that we're pretty deep in this bear market. And this has gone down pretty significantly. Is this the low? Maybe. Maybe not. It can still go lower, right? Is it going to be a huge effect if we go from $0.90 cents down to even, let's say, half of this down to $0.45? Cents? Yes, percentage-wise, okay, it's 50%. Is $0.45 cents a KDA really going to make a difference? Not really. Especially if you're looking at the outcome or the possibility of it going to let's say even just half of all time high, right? All time high is well, around 24 bucks. Let's say it only goes to 10 bucks, okay? You're not gonna be worried about that 50 cent difference when it's gonna potentially go up so much from that point, okay? So keep that into perspective as well. Um, so now let's look at another scenario, right? And this to me is more, it's on the high side, but it's somewhat more realistic. I don't think this many are gonna drop initially but I think throughout the launch of this thing, this is the potential, okay? So maybe we get 2,000 at launch and then throughout the year, they sprinkle in those 3,000 or throughout the next two years, we sprinkle in the 3,000. To me, this is a more realistic number to look at throughout time, okay? Again, I don't think they're gonna nuke us with like 10,000 of these because it's gonna take the profitability and nobody's gonna wanna buy these things at all from here on out. So I don't think that's gonna be the scenario either. But, um. But let's do this quick math again. <clears throat> let's do 166 terahash, which is the unit, right? We're going to multiply it by 5,000 units, okay? This will bring us to 830,000. So we put plug, plug in the 830,000 terahash, brings us to 830 terahash, okay? So then at that point, we add in the existing 240. Again, we're just ballparking, so we'll make it easy. We'll put it as at being about a terra or an exa hash. We're going above that, right? A thousand peta hash is an exa hash. Okay. So essentially, comparing it to the initial number of 240, again, we're ballparking, it's going to be about four times higher, meaning your yield will be cut into a fourth. Okay. So again, 5,000 unit ship, your yield will be cut into a fourth. So let's go through those numbers real quick. So we'll start again with the KA3. Again, easy math. We're not going to go into exact numbers. This is just rough estimates, okay? So if this gets cut into a fourth, we're going to be looking at 12 KDA, so 12 bucks, okay? Minus your electric of almost $8, still about $4 and 40 some cents profit, okay? So even if we have that dramatic of a hash rate adjustment, there still is profits to be made, right? not too terrible okay especially if we do a little moon math okay i'm not a fan of doing these things given like crazy numbers but this is just something to keep into perspective yes this would go down to 12 right currently it's at a buck let's say sometime in the next year let's say the end of next year or let's say 12 months from now it goes up to 10 dollars a kda okay times those 12 by the 10 bucks it's 120 okay 
possibility, right? And that's the possibility we look at when we're mining. Okay, mining, a lot of people don't want to hear this either, but it's borderline a degen play, right? We're like gambling on the fact that there's a potential for the price to go up and for us to sell our units when the price goes up in the bull market or even just on a big uptrend, okay? Because if the price spikes, let's say in 12 months from now to that amount, these things are going to be going for well over what we paid for it if you came in at MSRP, okay? So let's say we buy it at the 5300 we mined on it for a whole year, right? And then on top of that, we make money on the unit itself. That's where the money is made with mining, okay? It would make more sense to hang on to it even longer than that, all the way into the bull market, right? But it's riskier with these altcoins because there's the threat of another big player coming in, okay? Because the hash rate, the network itself is so small that it doesn't take a whole lot to cause a huge effect. Like Bitcoin, for example, is way, way more mature, right? Been mining forever, a lot of units out. So like one you drop doesn't affect the hash rate as much. But these smaller altcoins are in their infancy still. So all it takes is one new innovation to wipe everything out, okay? So it all depends on what you want to do here. But these are the things that go, at least in my mind, when I'm doing my calculations, okay? So again, even if this does get cut into a quarter, if let's say a year, year and a half from now, it's 10 bucks, that's still $120 a day, okay? So just keep that in mind as you're doing these calculations, okay? So let's go to the next one. Let's go to the BMK3 and cut this by a quarter, okay? So this will go down to five KDA, five bucks. At a 10 cent kilowatt hour, you're gonna be negative three bucks, okay? So you're gonna be at a loss if it goes to that amount, if 5,000 units get shipped, okay? And if the price action stays the same, okay? A lot of this is has gonna do with your research as to where you think the price is gonna be, okay? That is the number one factor in all of this, the amount of units that get shipped and just your research, your belief, okay? This is why I'm a big advocate for do your research. Not into only the machine, go into the project. Does that project look promising? What is it doing? Why are they developing? Is it active? Does it look like something big is going to drop soon? Okay, you have to take these things into account, guys, because there's a lot, a of, lot of variables that we just can't account for. Okay, so I'm not even going to go into the into this guy because if this guy's already at a loss, we already know that one's going to be at a bigger loss. So there's no point in even wasting our time there. Um, yeah, guys, you got to do your research again. Is it really worth it if 5,000 units get shipped and you're making $4 a day with this KA3? It doesn't make sense to pay the 10 grand for this thing. In my opinion, what I would be doing, absolutely not. Okay. If you're able to get this thing close to retail, which is that 5,300, somewhere around 6,000, then if it's something you believe in, then it may be worth a shot. Again, not financial advice. I'm just letting you know what I'm looking at. I'm a big Kadena guy. That's the reason I'm talking about it. And that's the reason I research it so much and I'm bringing you these numbers. Okay, like I personally believe in it. I think it has one heck of a future. That's why I'm going in it. That's why I started mining it from the beginning. That's why I DCA into it. And that's why I'm talking about it. Okay, so that's my scenario. But if you're not, if you think, oh, the activity hasn't been too hot, I don't think they're going to make it, then do not do it, right? You have to really research your things. You have to form your own opinion, okay? Don't just take my word for it. Follow other YouTube channels. Follow the projects. Follow the discords. Follow the reddits. You really have to get involved as a miner because it's a huge investment. And like I said, it's in reality, it's a huge gamble, okay? It really, really is. So again, guys, please take into this account. But again, this will get cut into a fourth if there's 5,000 units. I realistically don't think that many will drop because why would Bitmain want to just like cannibalize itself? I know a lot of people have been throwing out numbers as high as like, oh, 10,000, all this stuff. To me, that makes zero sense that they would do that. Okay, from a business perspective, what would make the most sense, especially considering how hype this thing is, make it limited. Okay, even if you are planning on releasing 5,000, release some small bundles at a time and just increase the price. We all see this street price now is 
freaking closer to 10 grand. Okay, that initial price was almost like a test just to see because this was the first one. And we all know people are definitely buying them if this is what the resale is. Okay, to me, what makes most sense is to let it trickle. Keep the hype up, right? Every few months, they can release 500 or whatever on their website, and it's going to sell out instantly, and it's good publicity for them, and it keeps the hype alive, right? But if they were to just drop 10000 right off the bat and dump that profitability, there goes that whole, that whole project. All that R&D they did in manufacturing, it's all going down the toilet for one sale at 5300 that makes zero sense. They can hype this thing up and increase the MSRP to 10,000 on the next drop and it'll probably still sell out. Okay, as long as they trickle it. Again, the big another big thing with this all with everything, crypto in general is hype. Hype, 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 hype and pumponomics. That is a huge huge portion of it. Okay? People FOMOing in. That's a big reason like why Doge does what it does. People just love that. Okay? Any of you guys like in the sneaker world, buying ASICs right now is the same thing as trying to pick up Jays back in the day. Okay, you're competing against bots. Okay, hype sells just like with that. Same kind of thing. It's the same kind of resale game. Um, but yeah, guys, just wanted to give you, you know, some rough estimates, a lot of numbers. I know this is kind of a long one, but it's good for you guys to actually see the numbers and see how people calculate it. I know people sometimes show, oh, I, you know, created this spreadsheet. But it's good for you to actually learn how they're coming up with those numbers. So you can do it yourself, right? In case you're interested in another miner that I'm not covering or somebody else isn't covering or something that you found out that nobody knows about yet. That way you can calculate it. You can look at what future projections are. You can make your own best guess as to what it's going to be or if it makes sense. Okay, because unfortunately, a lot of what you're going to see is all hype. It's people getting sponsored by these things and hyping up that product. Okay, do your research. I'm a huge, huge advocate for that. And that's a big part of this channel is I want to give you the tools so that even if it's something I don't cover, you can look it up yourself. Okay, or you can verify the numbers yourself. If you see somebody else talking about it and they're doing it wrong, call them out. Be like, no, this is why. Okay, this is a big community thing. It's to bring everybody together. We all want to try to make it. Okay, this is the bear market. We all should be helping each other out to benefit everybody. Okay, well, I know this is super cliche, but knowledge is power. Okay, the more you know, the better you're going to be equipped for everything that's coming up. Okay, all right. Now I kind of went off on a tangent, but uh, I think it's fairly important. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you got some value from this video and you learned something. Please comment, like, and subscribe, guys. And again, thank you for watching, guys. And I am out.